Hi, welcome to Kent Beer Reviews outside for a change. Thought I'd uh, do a few reviews just out here, just to. Although the wind's starting to pick up and it's probably going to rain, and but it's mild and it's getting a bit breezy, so apologies if it comes on the mic. I'm going to look into getting a um, a proper mic for the the camcorder, so do more reviews outside. So yeah, summer. Right. Got a beer here from the Vocation Brewery, and I've had this beer too long. This is their No Comply. It's a New Zealand Pilsner coming in at 4.8% ABV. Um, I just thought it was a bog standard Pilsner, and then I realised when it was too late that it's actually brewed with New Zealand hops. Um, hence the name, I guess, but it's been chucked away in the fridge since September last year 2016 so this had a best before date of the 5th of may so yeah 330 mil can 4.8 let's get it out to a glass then i thought I'd better get it out of the way although it's in a can it should have held a bit of kind of hot profile but then it is a pilsner so nice kind of dark orange at the moment Carbonation is quite, quite good on this one, as you expect. So it is hazy. Uh, yeah, a nice orangey colour. There's a one and a half finger of pure white haired. Picking up the hop aroma already from here, and I'm outside with a bit of breeze. So, so it's a real hopped up beer. I picked this beer up or the can up at uh, the Shipley Triangle when I was up there. Um, in yeah September when I was up at uh, Leeds International Beer Fest so yeah very hazy gentle carbonation just about sea running through the beer let's get an aroma then definitely picking up a kind of lemony lime aroma maybe a bit of lychee Listen to that, the sound of summer. Well, Swifts are screaming. Not really picking up too much else. Maybe a bit of uh, pear, maybe. Let's give it a try anyway. Cheers. Not too bad. It's still relatively hoppy. Um, brewed with Multica hops. I assume that's how you pronounce it. So there's a slight sweetness at the front end. I'm definitely picking up that hints of lemon and lime on the on the um, the palate as well as the aroma. Um, Definitely a prickly edge to that beer, but then most of the hops in Australia and New Zealand do give that off a little bit. Slightly kind of dry on the back end. Don't know the IBUs to this beer. There's a slight, there's that sweetness at the front end with the malts. Nice though, decent. Get the rest of this beer and see if it changes or gets any. Be a bit careful with this because it's it did seem to be quite carbonated. There you go. Not really changed too much. There's a little bit of light coming through, but yeah, you can see. The just about to see my ghostly kind of shape of my hand through the glass. But yeah, nice orangey colour. Need to drop the glass then. A very hoppy pilsner, to be fair to it. Uh, here we go. Um, no comply. Celebrating 10 years of an. Uh, 
Huddersfield, what's that? Huddersfield's leg legendary skate store. With their neighbours at Arcade Beers, they asked us to brew their dream beer. We settled on an authentic Pilsner, lagered for four weeks uh, for a clean, crisp taste. Andy from End Endemic was, I can read you know, was ra oh, he's raised in New Zealand, so he used New Zealand Matika hops for a subtle lemon and lime twist, there you go. Um, beer is naturally hazy because filtering kills the flavour, indeed. There's a lot of people that will never kind of accept that. Um, more kind of with people who drink cask, they don't like, they like to have a clear beer. Generally, not always, but generally. Um, I've had many arguments about that over the years, like a lot of people have. Um, but there's a style for everything. There's not a right or a wrong way. Um, anyway, this is never pasteurised. Still core and drink fresh. It's not fresh, but it's still drinking quite fresh, so that's good. So, yeah, it's very kind of clean and crisp. Easy drinking. It's got a decent body to it for a 4.8 Pilsner. It's probably about, yeah, in the medium range. Mid-central mid region, uh, medium. Um, so, yeah, vocationbrewery.com is the website. You can actually pick up quite a few of this brewery's beers in supermarkets now. Um, this first vocation beer I've had for quite a while. The Life and Death, uh, Heart and Soul. Um, and they brought out a, a, a load more more recent pills than this one um, I think you can get some of them in the supermarkets as well um, pretty much certainly Tesco's you can get them um, and maybe some of the other bigger stores of Sainsbury's um, I'm not sure there's a new thing coming out with um, Asda's going to be doing a lot open up their craft beer range what that will include I'm not quite sure but anyway back to this As I say, it's very carbonated. Excuse the background noise. No control over that, unless I had a mic, of course, so I have really. Um, there's a bit more about the brewery, if you want to read. I'm going to pause it. So, what do I give for a rating for No Comply? I like the name. Yeah, it's decent. It's out of date, but it doesn't taste out of date. It still tastes quite hoppy for what it is. Um, I'm going to give that... Give that a 7 out of 10. Um, I don't think the age has affected the beer at all. Um, being in a can, it's been in the fridge. So, yeah. I'm giving that a 7 out of 10. So, if you've had this in the past, no comply from the Vocation Brewery. Incidentally, they're from Hebden Bridge in West Yorkshire, I believe. Put your comments down below. Um, check out the Shipley Triangle if you're up that way. I'll put the links down below for that. And if any of my fellow beer tubers have had it, I'll put their links down below as well. Thanks for watching then, and I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.